Today we are going to clear out the confusion between network ACL and security group in AWS. First, we have security group. It is a firewall that works at instance level. It is like a lock on your server. It checks inbound and outbound rules and remembers the connection. That is why it is called stateful, meaning when a request is allowed, the response is automatically allowed. For an example, a user sends a request, security group checks it, if allowed, request reaches to the EC2 instance. EC2 process and sends back a response. Now, the security group automatically allows the response even if no outbound rules exist for the user. Here, you can see in the picture how security group rules look like. We have an inbound rule that accepts port 80 requests from the user, but there is no outbound rules defined. Even without an outbound rule, the user will still get the response. Next, we have network access control list. It is a firewall that works at subnet level. It is a lock on your whole subnet. It checks inbound and outbound rules but does not remember the connection. That is why it is called stateless. Meaning, when a request is allowed in, the response must be explicitly allowed. For an example, a user sends a request, NACL first checks it. If it is allowed, the request reaches to the security group. If the security group allows it, request reaches to the EC2 instance. EC2 instance processes it and sends back a response, security group automatically allows it. But now, the NACL must have an outbound rules to this response. Then only, response reaches to the user. Here, you can see in the picture how NACL rules look like. We have both inbound and outbound rules that accepts port 80 request from the user. Now, Let's see how NSL and security group work together in a real-world application. When a user sends a request, it first reaches the internet gateway. Then it goes through the route table to the NSL. The NSL must have a rule to allow it. If allowed, the request reaches the security group. The security group checks the request. If it is allowed, the request finally reaches the EC2 instance. If not, it is blocked. Once the EC2 instance processes the request, it sends a response. The security group automatically allows the response because it is stateful. The response then passes back through the NACL, but since the NACL is stateless, it needs an explicit outbound rule to allow the response. Then only the user will receive the response. But in the case, if NACL has only inbound rules and no outbound rule, the response will be blocked at the NACL and the user will never receive the response even though the EC2 sent it. I hope this makes difference between stateful security groups and stateless network ACL clear. Thanks for watching.